Hey guys, so I recently bought and used this Corona pole saw to cut down some really big branches on this really tall tree. I got on top of this extendable ladder. I stood on top of it, put a strap around me so I wouldn't fall. And then I took this pole saw, extended it out, and used it to reach super far and cut down the branches. Overall, I've been super pleased with it. Um, I will say this is a workout, especially if you're gonna be using it to cut thick branches. For thin branches that aren't dead wood, that are green wood, soft woods, it cuts through them pretty easily. But for really thick branches or for hardwood, uh, or dead wood, it takes a, a bit more uh, shoulder muscle. Well, the first cool feature is how far it extends. If I'm not mistaken, it extends like something crazy like 15 feet. It's got this, uh, it's super easy to extend. You just loosen this up here and then it just kind of telescopes out. So look at that. I don't know if you can see how long it is, but it, uh, it goes super long. You can see here this little rope here. It's actually a little pair of loppers. Uh, I'm not going to pull it with my fingers there, so I might lose my finger. But if you pull it, you can see right here that blade comes down. So you can actually chop small, you know, inch or thinner branches. So right now I'm going to demonstrate this in action. Just so you know, this has been through a lot of wear and tear, cutting down a pretty large tree, some pretty large branches. So it's not super duper as sharp as it was when it came out of the box, but I think it will still cut really well on these small branches that are up high. I'm gonna use the little loppers for the first time, see how these work. Oh, wow. That actually works super easily. This is with the pole at its minimum length. And you can see how high it can reach at its minimum length. When I extend it, you can reach crazy high. I find that if you put most force when you're pulling down, it cuts a lot on the way down. Uh, it takes a little bit more effort to cut pushing up and it just feels natural to kind of pull it down and let it kind of go back up and then pull it down. Uh, it's a really good workout for your arms. These loppers, that was the first time I used them and they actually cut ridiculously easy. So one thing you'll notice with this saw is that it works quite well when you're cutting little branches that are say one to three inches thick on a big tree. But when you're cutting little branches on a little tree, the little tree sways back and forth and it's kind of hard to cut. But one thing you'll notice when you have the pole extended really long it, the, the blade can kind of bounce around unless you apply a lot of force and kind of control the cut. It sometimes can bounce out of the groove. And so just that's just one thing to keep in mind. This blade was up really high and I was on top of a ladder and it got stuck. It got kind of pinched in between two pieces of wood. I had like a branch next to another branch. And when that happened, I had to yank it really hard and push it and yank it and push it and yank it until this blade finally popped out. Um, and so you have to be a little careful when you cut thick branches uh, that are next to other branches that when the branch is falling that doesn't kind of pinch your, your blade. Else it might get a little stuck and be a little bit of a pain to get it loose. But other than that, that's really been the only problem that I personally have experienced with this pole saw. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day.